Hi everybody, I'm Cassandra from Craft to Believe After and welcome to another video full of chatting about crochet and omegurumi and everything lovely that goes with it. All right, you guys, let me get straight into it. Now, I've completed a few projects and I'm super excited to show you. And I'll start with a pattern that I'm currently working on writing up. So I mentioned um, a few videos ago that I'm working on designing a pattern. I showed you this very adorable hexi, hexagon cardigan, uh, like a teeny tiny hexi cardi that I've made and I've been trying to design a toy to fit into that. That idea did not work. So my hexi cardi uh, and omegurumi that goes with it, that is still in the pipeline. I'm still working on that. But I decided in the end to do a whole separate bear. Obviously, I am the bear girl. I love making bears. I love designing bears. <laughs> so in the end, I designed, which obviously for me is a super cute bear. I've made multiples of him uh, to test out my pattern. I will show you what uh, he looks like. Uh, hopefully, I can get this pattern written up very soon. If any one of you out there would be in the mood to test out this pattern for me pop me an email send me a message on instagram obviously you would need some background in omegurumi making but if you feel up to testing this pattern for me drop me a line let me know i would love for a few of you to test out this pattern for me now one version of him i've already given away as a gift to a colleague of mine uh, that's going to Germany for a couple of months on a work assignment. Um, but I will pop a picture of that one up on the screen. That was my first test version of the bear, uh, which I made in Rainbow Cotton 8.4. It's the yarn that I feel most comfortable with. Although that is not the yarn I intend the bear to be made with. Now, my second and third version is actually how I would like the bears to look. So the second bear I made is this adorable version. Now, it's this is still sort of my, I could call it a test version of the bear. His little feet, his cute little body, he's got some shaping uh, just on his little cheeks here. A cute little heart shaped nose. This time <laughs> I did give him a tail. I know my buddy bear uh, pattern. I've really got to update that pattern to include a tail for my buddy bear because he does not have a tail. Um, but for this one, I did include the tail. Then he's also got this cute little cowl and a little crossbody bag that I intend to put different types of uh, appliques on. So this one just has a little applique of a sun. So this was the second bear I made and I absolutely love how he turned out. This is made with um, Bella Coco Confection DK. So I really want the bear to be made in a DK weight yarn um, to give him the correct size. And so for him I used a three millimeter hook. Now this was my second one. Then of course I did a third version in white which is actually my preferred look for this bear so i made him in a white oh this is more i guess like an off-white color so this would be a more of a polar bear again his cute little feet pointing inwards and i gave him this pastely rainbow uh, cowl um, now this is actually what i want the bear to look like so i want him as a little polar bear with a very happy multicolored little cowl also again a little heart shaped nose it's got his little tail in the back um, so this is what he looks like i absolutely love the shaping of this bear he came out exactly as i pictured him in my mind so as I said, I've now tested the pattern out. I've actually made a fourth version and I will show you that now. Um, so I know my stitches are exactly right. Um, I know where I want to attach certain things are exactly right. Then I just thought for the fun, I want to try and make him in a variegated yarn because I recently have got a very big love for variegated yarns. 
So I pulled out um, this. Now this is a fantastic yarn from Hobby. I've got a few skeins of this. It's called Carnival. It's 100% acrylic. But the thing with this yarn, it is more of a rowing style yarn. So it has different thicknesses throughout the, the skein. So the, the strand is not the same thickness everywhere, even though it is classified as a light number three or a DK weight yarn. So it is more of a rowing style. So the thickness um, does differ as you work with the skein. So some parts are slightly thicker, some parts are slightly thinner. Um, but I absolutely love this color. So you can see very nice um, colors in this skein. It's also got a bit of a sheen to it. Um, this is a fantastic yarn. I love working with it. Um, as I say, as long as you don't mind the thickness of the yarn, like varying throughout the skein. But I made <laughs> this version. Now it does look a little odd. This is not how I think the look that I'm going for. This was just for me to see how he would work up in a variegated yarn. Um, for him I did not do the heart nose. Originally I did. It looked a little odd. Um, so for him I gave the kawaii eyes. I gave a regular embroidered little nose. I did do a cowl for him but this one I did in the basket stitch um, just to try something different. So this is what he looks like. I think it looks very, very dark on the screen. But I just like to see how variegated yarns work up for different Omi Gurumis. This guy I think is still very, very cute. I've got a number of bears that I've worked up in different types of variegated yarn. Yarn that was gifted to me um, from friends across the world. It is so much fun to try different types of yarn. And that is what I want to tell you guys. Do not be afraid to experiment with yarns. I know we all buy specific patterns and specific pattern books and we want to use the exact same yarn that is recommended by the designer. But sometimes it is fun just to go a little haywire and try something different. Use different size eyes to see what you like. Um, try different types of yarn. So a lot of patterns would recommend a DK. Try thinner, try thicker. It is nice to experiment with yarns to see how they work up. I mean, this is the joy of crocheting. We are, we are here to try different things. And it is fun to see how things work up. So this is why I wanted to see what does it look like worked up in a variegated yarn. Now strangely, even though this is a DK weight and the Bella Coco Confection is a DK weight, they work up very, very different sizes. So the Confection DK is definitely, I think, on the thicker side of a DK because he is quite a bit bigger. So there we go. But I had so much fun designing this guy. So as I said, anyone who is willing, who's got the time to maybe give this pattern a go, let me know as soon as I've written it up, I will send it off to two or three people just to have a quick little test. See if how I wrote it up uh, is how someone else translated into a toy because obviously I know what I want it to look like. I know where it's supposed to be attached. So having someone else look at it gives it a different sort of a feel. You know, I I think this is why it's good when patterns are tested by someone else other than just the designer. So pop me an email, pop me a DM on Instagram. I would love to know if any of you have got the time to test out this cute fellow. All right, the next thing I made and this is a pattern that I bought months and months ago, if not already last year. It's very possible that I bought this last year already when I got completely hooked on cross-stitching. I still enjoy cross-stitching a lot. Um, and I bought this pattern because of the amazing photos that it had on uh, Etsy. So I will link the pattern down below. 
Um, and I'll also put the name of the designer on the screen because of course I cannot remember what it is. But this whoop, <laughs> is this cute bunny with the little cross stitch detail. Now you can actually see the pattern a bit better if it's further away. Now I'll bring the bunny closer in just a second but this little cross stitch is supposed to be like a flower and there is a little flower on the top. Um, but if you bring it closer you can see. So this is what the little bunny looks like. Now I honestly thought the bunny would be <laughs> slightly bigger because on the photo the designer has got quite a few flowers embroidered on the bunny. She also has uh, flowers embroidered on the ears and on the back. I did not feel like doing it there. I just wanted to do this one. So as you can see from far away it does actually look like a flower. Um, but this is my little cross stitch design on this cute bunny. I really enjoyed it. It did not take long at all to make. This is a very quick pattern. I think if you make it obviously in a bigger or a thicker yarn. This was made with another yarn I really enjoy working with. Rainbow Bamboo from Hobby. It is a number two yarn, so it's a sport weight yarn. Although this thickness actually, I must be honest, feels a lot like um, my Rainbow Cotton 8.4. Now Rainbow Cotton 8.4 is a fingering weight yarn. This is a number two, a sport weight. Um, but to me they work up around the same size. This is 60% bamboo viscose, 40% cotton. An absolutely fantastic yarn to work with. I've got it in a number of colors. It is on the expensive side, um, but I bought a bunch of them, I think, on some or other sale from Hobby last year. So I've got quite a few skeins, and I really, really like this yellow version. So I've got some pinks. I want to try them in a pink. I've got um, a very nice light blue, but the yellow and then this pink and green cross stitch. Uh, so what's nice with the pattern, she includes different um, cross stitch charts uh, for different looks of the flowers. So that was really nice. So you can choose what type of a flower you want to put on your little bunny. So I enjoyed this cute bunny a lot. Worked up really, really quickly. A very, very fun project to make. And adding that little cross stitch detail just makes the world of difference to this bunny. Because otherwise it's just like a teeny tiny, I almost get leggy froggy vibes <laughs> from this bunny. And maybe this is why I like him so much. It takes a bit more work than the leggy froggies. But he's got that same shaping to him. Uh, but I enjoyed this little bunny. So I think if you use a thicker yarn, make him slightly bigger. But although this small size, as you guys know, who've been with me for a while, I do love the thinner yarn. So this is it. I will link the pattern down below. Now the last thing I wanted to share with you guys is a few more of my multitude of crochet books that I have been buying over the last few months. Now, just on another note before I show you the books, there is a new book from omegurumi.com that is on pre-sale and it is the fantasy uh, creatures. There's a first and a second version of the fantasy creatures book. I don't know what the full title of the book is. I'll pop the new uh, book just on the screen so that you can know what I'm talking about. But it is on pre-sale now on omegurumi.com. And I purchase these book, books on pre-sale almost all of the time. So as soon as there's a new book that's being br uh, brought out by omegurumi.com, I do the pre-sale or the pre-order for it because you get a PDF copy straight away. And then they post you the book as soon as it's out. And you get it before it actually arrives in the shops. Um, and this is how I bought this book as well. Uh, so the Zumigurumi, um, the Endangered Animals book, I bought it on pre-sale, oh, I don't know, a couple of months ago. I can't remember when this book arrived. It's a fairly, fairly new, it was like in the last month or two probably, I'm not sure. But this one, fantastic book. It's got loads of cute um, animals. So I'm not sure which one I'll make. I really want to make a red panda for some reason. That little red panda is calling to me. 
So this is one of my new books. So as soon as I make something from it, I will let you guys know. Now these books are always, uh, the patterns are from various designers, which is why I love these books. It's always different types of techniques, different types of patterns. Um, let me just show you one or two maybe close up now. <laughs> you know, with the froggies that's taking over the world at the moment. Isn't this guy fantastic? He is just looking so glum. I love him. I just want to give him a hug and say, don't worry, buddy. It, it will be all right. He looks like he just need a little cuddle. So he's super cute. I must say the froggies you guys are taking over the world. Um, a very cute little polar bear. As you know, I love bears in all shapes and sizes. This gorilla that's on the front is really fantastic, but I don't know if I will actually make him. I don't see myself working with that yarn. I must be completely honest. I love it. Will I make it? The answer is probably no. Uh, let me see one more. Look at the shape of this little seal. I do like the shape of him. <laughs> He's a cheeky fellow. I can just see him getting up to a lot of mischief. This is what he is looking like. He's this mischievous little fellow just playing pranks on all his friends. So this book is absolutely wonderful. So this one I got on pre-order. So remember, if you guys want to have a look at the omegurumi.com book, like I say, as soon as I got the email that the uh, Fantasy Creatures book number three was out, I put my pre-order in. The next book that's also, I don't know if it's a new book, but it's new to me. Embroidered Crochet. And I saw someone, I can't remember on which channel it was, showing this book. And it is just wonderful. Um, there's so many lovely projects in here. And especially with me enjoying adding cross stitch to crochet these days. They've got a lot of charts in here. They've got all the techniques. Now, for instance, they've got this um, beautiful blanket. Just look at that. Now, can you see it or not? Let me just make sure. So it's this fantastic blanket with all these embroidered, all these sections with these cross stitch and embroidered like plants and little cross stitch birds on it. And what's nice from this book, they then give you the charts. I'll just quickly show you one. They give you the charts for all of the different birds, uh, like the cross stitch charts, which is wonderful. Now look at this mushroom bunting. Isn't that wonderful? I mean, I can just picture making this and hanging this up uh, in autumn. Isn't that wonderful? All of these different mushrooms and then you get the charts for it. And like at the beginning of the book explains to you how to do the different stitches. Something else that I really liked in this book that I really, really want to do is this embroidered basket. I mean, look at that. It's like just a plain crochet basket and then you do these beautiful embroidering, uh, embroidered flowers on it. I love it. This is something I would absolutely do. I love the look of it. So this is another one of my new books. So not all my books are just purely omigurumi, although I will not lie, the majority, <laughs> the majority of them are omigurumi books. This one I thought would be really, really nice to do. Like I said, I've really been getting into adding different crafts onto crochet. There's so many possibilities out there um, that this book was just calling to me. The last book for today that I want to show you is Crochet Iconic Woman. Now, I think this is the second book um, in the Iconic Woman. And then, of course, she's also got a book um, with the Zodiac Dolls that you can see at the back. So those are the other two books that she's got. I've got both of them. So, of course, I needed this book in my life as well. And I just like this book because it gives you a lot of different ways to do dolls. So even if you just want to do your own doll, there's various ways of doing hair 
and clothing. So you can do a base doll and adapt it to make any character actually that you want, which is fantastic. So let me just show you. Actually, the back is a better image. Just look at all of them. I love that Dolly Parton doll. I think she's definitely one that I will be making. So there you have it. Actually, this one. <laughs> um, Mary Shelley with Frankenstein. I think her I would like to make as well. These two. Oh, I love it. So this book, I love, love, love this designer. It is by Carla Matrani, who's also, I think, Amu Fu Crochet. Very, very well known, very popular designer. I've made tons of her patterns and I've loved every single one. So this is the third book that I want to show you for today. All right, friends, that is it. That is all I have to share with you for this week. Um, hopefully many more exciting things to come. I look forward to sharing this coming Friday. Uh, it's Free Pattern Friday again. Uh, I think it's the 23rd of June, which is going to be a very, very interesting Free Pattern Friday because I am doing it with a couple of friends. So yes, you guys, you don't want to miss that episode. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, but that's it. That's all I wanted to share with you. Let me know what you're working on. Uh, I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. Uh, I hope you are getting some crochet time in, even if it's just a little bit here and there. Um, you know, crochet is fantastic. I'm loving it. I'm loving sharing crochet with all of you. I'm loving chatting to all of you about crochet. Uh, it's so much fun. Uh, and I love how we just inspire each other. I get inspired by you guys. So keep those comments coming. Uh, let me know what you're working on. Keep on sending me pattern suggestions. I love receiving it. You are all absolutely fantastic. And I hope you have a very, very wonderful rest of your day. As always, friends, stay safe and stay crafty.